Five Studios, it's New Day Northwest with Amity and Treacy. Hello, my friends, and welcome to New Day. And seriously, who doesn't love a Costco rotisserie chicken? Well, we are talking about that as we are starting off the show with one of my favorite things, hot topics. And my panel today is Seattle Times food and drink writer, Ton Vin, and comedian extraordinaire, Ellen Aquario, and New Day producer, Rebecca Perry. Thank you all for coming back into the New Day studio. Woo. Yes. Thanks for having me. We love having you here, and we love talking about food and drink, so this is perfect for you, Ton. Uh, so we are gonna start with this whole thing about this rotisserie chicken controversy. <laughs> so celebrity chef David Chang recently said on his podcast that Costco rotisserie chicken is the worst. He says the bird's lack of seasoning makes it inedible when eaten cold. So uh, I wanna just know your thoughts on this because I gotta be honest, my grandma <laughs> eats one of these every day. I, I mean, she, <laughs> She might fight this chef over these words. Like, these are fighting words. And I'm sorry, I think that's delicious. I don't know about y'all. I agree. It is, for the price that you pay for this, it has pretty much replaced the hot dog as the <laughs> best food to get at Costco. Yes. Uh, and just for the price, you just can't beat it. And it's like two meals. You can feed a family with it. Yeah. Um, and even as leftover, you know what? I eat it the day after with mayonnaise. Oh, oh and yeah. And it's really good. I can eat that. Yeah. It's, <laughs> and one of the things about grocery market, <laughs> grocery stores is the rotisserie chicken is always the best deal, and no one can beat Costco's price. No one, because it's what, like $5, $4.99 or something? 4 dollars And I feel like the, gro the other grocery stores ones are so much smaller, but yeah. Costco's is so big and so plump and so juicy, and I normally like David Chang. Jeez. Bad take. Yeah, man. Yeah. Bad take. Come on. <laughs> right? Mayo? And like the day mayo? Yeah. yeah, Ellen's still stuck <laughs> on the mayo time. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, do you no. just dip it in mayo? What are you what are you doing with the mayo and the chicken? Yeah, I want to hear this. Oh yeah, you, you dip it in the mayo and no. it makes it it adds a, a, a layer of just fattiness and richness and unami. It's just perfect. So you're People not do putting this in Paris all the time. There's no vehicle in which you get the chicken to the mayo it's just the, the mayo on the chicken the chicken is the vehicle for the mayo exactly you okay. shred those chicken you just rip it apart and you just <gasps> dip like eating nachos or cheese or whatever it's just it's that's how i eat broccoli don't, don't be freaked out try it <laughs> once. i'm so freaked out just I'm try it once. Have you ever, it's have you, really good you guys I don't eat broccoli you. like that where you take like a no. like a, a steamed broccoli and i just put like a dollop of mayo on top and it's like a little ice cream cone mm -hmm. right i mayonnaise no yeah thank no. you rebecca oh my god i'm like no. what planet am i on no mayo what? okay no. team mayo right here no you know team mayo no. mayo People i am shook it I am sure. do this all the time. <laughs> you haven't even touched your chicken, Okay, Ellen. okay. Watch me eat it with no mayo. Okay, thank you. I no mean, mayo. I mean, I have to say, I don't like, I don't, I don't like taking it apart. That's the hard part for me. Like, I just, it's just, there's a lot I mean, of pieces these involved. These chickens are so good. Costco puts them in the back of the store so, and the smell so that, like, you'll go through uh -huh. the store, buy everything else that you don't need just to get the chicken. Okay, I had heard a rumor, and I'm going to just say this is not... Uh, confirmed because I should have maybe checked this before saying this on TV, but I'm like I'm, I'm prefacing it with Ooh, the fact that it's a rumor. Scoop. Is it true that Costco bought its own chicken farm? Oh Shoot. yeah, yeah. I did hear about this, and they're getting sued or something like that, what? right? Because the farm, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I'm a what? comedian. Wild rumors. I'm a comedian. Uh, fact check me, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, nothing I say is real. <laughs> um, I am merely a prop. <laughs> no. And that's they, it's true. They who don't do own their own farm or contract oh. it out, and that's why they can sell it ah. so cheap. Oh, so I that, see. I should, we have Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> and then I, I can tell you that um, Dave Chang he didn't like the chicken because was it was not seasoned well. And I will say this about Costco: if you buy these rotisserie chicken at Costco, it just Mixed bag. Sometimes it's seasoned. Sometimes it's not. Today oh. it's like perfectly seasoned. It's perfect. But it's I don't not know what always this about. well seasoned. Hence the mayonnaise. Can I get oh. some mayo? No. Mm. <laughs> some mayo here. By the way, I just want to let you know this, Justin. We did some fact checking. They do have a chicken farm in Nebraska. That okay. is correct, and that is where these chickens come from. Is there <laughs> any other? Before we uh, move on, are there any other Costco finds that you love? Wine. Mm. Wine, you cannot beat it, people. I'm telling you, like Costco champagne, and I should say I have no 
stocks in Costco, whatever. Okay. But the champagne for 19 bucks is unbelievable. Wait, wait, like, is it like Kirkland champagne? Kirkland champagne. Um, for nineteen dollars, isn't it like a huge magnum? Because nineteen dollars is a little steep. <laughs> it's a little for more champagne. Than <laughs> it's a great deal. We've done blind tasting with other some, and we compare with fifty dollars champagne, and it just it's just as good. One so of the not, best value. So I guess the cigar I'm drinking is not. I bought the for nine dollars. Yes, what are you <laughs> talking about? Yes, I do too. <laughs> See. Costco sells a Prosecco that's much more popular. It's like seven bucks. Oh, okay. that's, that's the one. Yeah, that's I, swear. I know that one. Yes, but, twenty dollars Costco champagne. We, we've done blind tasting on that, and it's as good as a fifteen dollar Prosecco. Oh. Before the champagne is such a much better value. Awesome. Is it tastes really good? Is yes, it? that's it is my jam. I'm an expert on that. Okay, it this, is outstanding. This one's mine. It's not champagne, but it's. <laughs> Sure isn't. <laughs> it's kitty litter. It's the best kitty litter you can possibly ever get. And when this baby is full, it's 35 pounds. It's so heavy. So you get your arm workout too you while get you're your living concert. I was wondering why you were holding that while we were talking about this. I'm like, wait, <laughs> this what? is my Costco favorite thing. Kitty Simply litter. perfect. I love the clever marketing on there too. I think we were making some comparison because it's sitting right next to your chicken. Have you done a blind test on that? Is it as good as, as Johnny Cat or is it I simply have, I mean, perfect? in a pinch, you have to go out and get the other. No. This, oh, okay. So she has done. Um, all right. Well, speaking of shopping, Nike just announced that it will be closing its store in downtown Seattle this Friday. It's been there since 1996, yeah. and a sign in the window reads, if we can bring it up, we look forward to serving you at Nike.com. This is really Bummer. sad to me. Yeah. Um, Ton, I know that you love Nike as your sport and your, uh, your Jordans right here on set. Uh, can we get a shot of his um, <laughs> collector's item shoe? <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> can you just pick up your foot? Can you just pick up your foot? I'm good, They're beautiful. Okay. Yeah, yes, it matches Sorry, you your see it. shirt. Of course it does. Do you he, color coordinate every time? He does. I do not color coordinate. Last time you were matching you with 10 different turtlenecks so matching your shoes. <laughs> he didn't match his shoes last time, too. And I, I had mad respect. I hate that there's going to be another empty storefront downtown, though. That's, wow. that's the real bummer. But I will say, the Nike outlet in Auburn Shh, is where The it's one in Tequila, too. So. Yeah. And can I tell you, I used to shop at the Nike store. It does not that much of a, a selection oh that's really? really special yeah like ah, you wouldn't okay. buy like any limited edition nike or any special it's just Nikes. a big it's nike store it's just a big ah. nike store and i see that now that it's closed all people say downtown is dying people mm. are shoplifting at nike it is actually pretty hard to steal <laughs> shoes at the nike you, store you've tried uh, maybe <laughs> I see where those shoes are coming from. Well, <laughs> because they, they know that shoplifting is a problem in terms yeah. of Air Jordans, yeah. and they make it really hard for you to run out there. And plus, there's security. Yeah. Like, yeah. at least yeah. two was the uh, last time I was there. So all Why this talk about... Why do you sound about, so seasoned in this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's two, and this is where they are. <laughs> I scout this area. I scout Listen, this area. Where did you get those Nikes? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about, like, go to Nike.com, it's like, it's shoes. Who likes to buy shoes online? You need to try them That's on. That's one. 100% the truth. I will say this. Um, I, you know, there were some people saying it's so sad that, that downtown is another storefront that is empty. And nationwide, they are reporting that like 35% of business owners are reporting shoplifting happening in their stores every day. Oh my gosh. So it is an issue. But I think yeah. also it's a mix of big flagship stores yeah. are kind of not the thing anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We all are going online. But you know what? Maybe they'll have a pop-up in Nordstrom. I would love a Nike pop-up in Nordstrom. You're welcome, Nike. You're welcome, Nordstrom. <laughs> Nike it happen. Yeah. All right. We only have about 30 seconds left, and I just want to have a yes or no or okay. a woohoo from you. Madonna bringing her celebration tour to Seattle. Who's going? Yes. Uh, oh, yes, I mean, if Mick Jagger can do it. Bruce Springsteen can do it. <laughs> right? Yes. I think I'd have to sell my firstborn. Yes. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. It's going to be expensive, I'm Tom sure. can buy it, though. He's got the shoes. <laughs> the Madonna can you, ticks. Can you take us? I'm more excited for Janet Jackson, I'll just say that. Same. Miss Jackson, Jackson if you're nasty. Yeah. Or Mariah Carey. I'm, I'm down for that. Uh, <laughs> I feel like, you know, when we mention about Madonna, you got to think about the Sydney Lopper. Because oh, remember one day we both rising stars? Yes. Sydney was actually bigger than Madonna at Do you some point. I remember that. It was either you were either a Cindy fan or a Madonna fan. Exactly. Really? Yeah. And the, exactly. the, glove, the fingerless gloves, they both wore those. I wait, wait, wait. Nice. Cindy or Madonna? Like, that like, was the thing at, one at the point, time. At one point, and yeah. suddenly Madonna's Debbie VHS Gibson. to Cindy's beta. Like Britney or no. Christina? It was like yeah. that? Yeah. 
I Tom, just dated that was myself. Funny. No one gets that. I got it. I got you. Wait, I what did you. I miss? He what? said, say it one more time and we have to move on. Madonna. Oh. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Uh, Sydney is beta to Madonna's VHS. Get it? Beta oh, tapes? I get that. Okay. Yes. Wow. We'll explain yeah. it in the break <laughs> because our panel isn't going so anywhere. Ellen, They're going to be back you. <laughs> later in the show to talk pets in the office and the best spots to celebrate Lunar New Year. So you two stick around. All right. Yes.